Yes. So this meeting is published live on YouTube, and uh, you can share the link and you can use it to train your team. Are you excited today? Are you excited on board? Are you excited to be on this meeting? I want to see your face. Let me see your face. I want to say happy Sunday to every one of us. I want to say happy Sunday, every one of us. How did your Sunday go? How fantastic was your day? Or had been the day? How fantastic had been the day? It's 3.16 p.m. from my time here from the United States. Obviously, it is 8.16 p.m. there in Nigeria. And it's a fantastic time connecting with you. It's really going to be an amazing moment in this training, and it's going to be fantastic. It is no doubt, but going to be fantastic. As usual, let's see how this will have been in the last seven, eight days. Everybody, are you right on the chat box? What this mission has done for you, what you have learned in the last seven, eight days. Type it, type it, pick it topic by topic. Pick what you have learned and you know what. So we'll go from to know where we are coming from. How far are they been from where we are coming from? If you're connected to this meeting, open your camera, open your face, open your look, and be connected to this meeting. So open your face, open your camera. I see less than Ayoma, Jeremiah, connecting on Facebook. You're welcome to this meeting on Facebook Live. This meeting is streamed live on Facebook on DD Solola Network Facebook page. And on YouTube, you can see it on our Kisolola Joy channel. Type out the chat box in the last seven, eight days, what have you learned from this meeting? At the same time, call everyone that is connected. Everyone you wish, you want them to succeed. Everyone you want to see to Sophie, call them to be part of this meeting as quick as possible. You know, one of the things we have to learn is the ability to love training. The ability to love training. So type on the chat box what you have learned in the last seven days. Type it, type it, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. I want to see what have you learned in the last seven days. And at the same time, make sure your camera is open to have a fantastic meeting. Make sure your camera is open to have a fantastic meeting. So let's bring it up. What are these meetings done for you in the last seven days? In the last seven days. I want to know if you've learned something. I want to know if you've learned something. You can type it on Facebook. You can type it on YouTube. If it is convenient for you to connect there. Type it, type it, type it, type it, type it. Type it and let us see what this meeting has done for you. What? What have you learned differently in the last few days? What have you learned differently in the last few days? Type it on the chat box. Type it, type it quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's know what you have learned. Let's know what you have learned. Know what you have learned. Type it. Let's know what you have learned. Facebook. All right, type it on whichever platform you have. Type what you have in the last seven to eight. Very type it, type it, type it, type it. The answer is to what? Very important, very, very important. So type it now. Type it. What have you learned in the last seven to eight days? We've been connecting to this training. What have you learned? What have you learned? What do you need? So type on the chat box and let us see what you have learned so far in the last seven to eight days. I'm waiting for the first comment. I'm waiting for the first comment and it has to come in as quick as possible. Get the comments in as quick as possible. What's it done for you? What have you learned from this meeting? So far, so good. Type it on the chat box. Rukaya Flabake said, I learned to be focused on people that need your opportunity. That's fantastic. So other people bring it up. What have you learned in the last few days that you've been connecting this meeting? 
What have you learned in the last few days that you've been connected this week? <laughs> All right, bring it up, 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 bring it up. What have you learned so far, so good that you've been connecting to this meeting? Allah Raju Miriam said, I learned to be resilient in order to overcome rejection and not to take rejection to heart. Rejection is normal, you know, you don't take it to heart. That somebody say no to you does not mean you should feel bad. No, it's part of the process. People cannot accept you in all ways. They can accept everything. And that is why those who accept you are the ones you should work with and continue to work with. And those who do not accept you, their time will come. Their time will come. So let's keep it coming. Type what you have learned. You can't tell me you have not learned anything. If truly you are hearing me, type on the chat box what you have learned in the last seven days. It's a way of reawakening your mind of what you have learned. Don't say it's not necessary, I type it. Follow that instruction. Type on the chat box what you have learned. That is how to be a good student. For me to say you should type what you learned, I know what I'm saying. It's a way of reminding you of what you have learned and bring it back to your memory. You don't keep building without checking how far you have built before. You don't understand. You don't keep accumulating knowledge. You need to even know what you have learned before. It goes on a long way. On Facebook, we have Shibu Precious said, I learned, I learned to learn how to manage my time. I was focused on what is important and urgent. Yes. Especially when it comes to your business, you need to focus on what is important and what is urgent. You need to focus on what is important and what is audience that's fantastic so keep typing it you need to type and send it don't say i learn it i know it i know no sometimes you don't even know what you know until you are made to practice what you know so sometimes you might know something and you may not even know it you might not know that you know it until you are made to practice it so instructions you need to follow on this meeting open your camera and type what you have learned so far in the last seven days on the chat box Type what you have learned so far in the last seven days on the chat box. Allow me to make you I'm waiting for what you learn. Because I'm going to I'm waiting for what you learn. I'll be care or do I'm waiting for what you learn. I don't know I'm going I'm waiting for what you learn. I'm calling these names because those are the names I can see. Any names I cannot see, it is assumed you are not connected to training, maybe. Maybe you're just on your system and you're not there. Victoria Noma, Victory Noma said, I love different goals goals is that dream. okay let me see more she said uh, goal is immediate and recruitment is the goal goal are the things you do now to bring about the dream you're looking for that's fantastic that's fantastic father Pemurenke said i learned to be proactive in building my business and also stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. Dynamic Associates said, I learned the only instruction that I've given out, you should be the first to do it for the long way. No instruction is given, you know, just for mere saying. It is meant to be followed. You know, it is meant to be followed. Very important. Very, very important. Dynamic Associates said, I've learned that my belief system is the most important factor for success in business. Also, I've developed more skills necessary to scale up. More skills necessary to scale up. Belief system is the most important factor on the journey for success. Bukola Morofolu said, I've learned about cash flow quadrant, that rejection is part of the process, and I've reframed I have to reframe the question as part of the learning process. Also, the seven habits of highly successful people. Fantastic. So this is like a review of what we have done in the last seven, eight days. So it is important that we keep time to keep it up. So that some of us can even remember what we have learned so far. We can remember what we have learned so so far. It goes a long way. I am reading another job on Facebook said. I've learned that as an entrepreneur in network marketing, I must have 
the most obstacle of equal. That's fantastic. So it's you must prioritize what you do. Because so in the of how important and urgent they are, you don't just dump at it. You don't just go and do things. It will make you disorganized. You know, success goes to the most coordinated person. You see, I'll tell you something. If you can wake up in the morning and lay your bed, you see that simple activity will make you coordinated for the whole day. If you can wake up in the morning and you lay your bed, that singular activity will make you coordinated for the whole day. For the whole day. So, in fact, people waking up and lay your bed. That is how simple success is because it's all about putting things together. It's all about coordinating things. Things does not just happen on its own. Human being makes things happen. Things doesn't just happen on its own. Human being makes things happen. So you have to make things happen. And it takes coordination to make things happen. It takes coordination to do so. All right. We still have other people. Can you now see? Now that you are sending it, all of us are learning again together. Please always respond when you are asked to do something. Always respond. You know, you are in business for yourself. Stop waiting for another person. Anything you are asked to do, do it immediately. Do it immediately. All man for himself. It goes a long way. Bukola Morofolu said, I've learned about cash flow. Okay, we've talked about that. Follow Shokbenga said, I learned how focus, how to focus on importance. On importance. Okay, maybe I didn't get that, or maybe you didn't get that. He said, I learned how to focus on important, but not urgent. No, you have to focus on the things that are important and urgent that are important and urgent and uh, were not important you can delegate people. things that are important but not urgent you can also delegate people to do it for you but your focus should be more on things that are important and they are urgent especially in your business in your life and in all faces but for things that are not important and not urgent please take them away from take them away from your priority. Anything that is not important and not urgent, take them away from your priority. Dr. Bolutara said, I've learned about the following things during this training, communication and collaboration, leadership and management, problem solving and critical thinking, time management and organization adaptability and resilience. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I see who oh, you learned everything. I see who. Oh. Some people are still on this meeting. They didn't learn anything in the past seven days. They didn't learn anything in the past seven days. We want to know whether you have learned something or not. Father Kwebrani Kinji said, You're okay, my voice is cracky. Okay, is it still cracky? Is my voice still cracky? Please check, confirm for me if my voice is still cracky. Confirm if my voice is still no, cracky. No, sir. Very okay Please now. Confirm. No, sir. Very okay, sir. If my voice is still very okay. All right. Father from where the KG, if it is still cracky at your hand, please check your network. Change your network from MTN to glue or from glue to ETSALAT. Chat, change your network. Prime World Motor Services said, I learned that you can't grow in business if you can't outgrow rejection. Fantastic learning there. That's a fantastic point. You cannot grow in business if you cannot outgrow rejection. If you are a type that you succumb to rejection all the time, to grow in business will be very difficult. It will be outrightly difficult. It will be outrightly difficult. Also, it is important to win because your winning will start on that to win. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. I didn't remember what Lola said. I learned how to prioritize things and not waste my energy on things that will sap my energy and if affect my productivity for the day focus energy on things that are important not things that will drain your energy or sap your productivity for the day you have to guide yourself you have to guide your energy it goes along with. you have to co-guide it i'm co-guiding you i don't mean as i said uh okay she's only blessing she didn't learn anything she's only blessing Rukayat again said, I've learned, I've learned you have to win in your head before you can win in your business. Yes, that's another jamming point. Thank you, Rukayat. 
you have to win in your head before you can win in business. If you don't have a winning mentality, if you are still losing the battle in your head, if you are still assuming you can't win in your head, to win in business will be difficult. So, for you to put money in business, it is because in your head you are sure you will win. It is because something is sure, is sure for you die. That's why you put money in business. If you're not sure for you, no go put money. So if you don't win in your head, you cannot win in business. If you don't win in your head, you won't go out and talk to people. Even if you have someone who wants to register into your business, you will not be in the mood to talk to the person because you are not winning in your head. So you have to win psychologically before you can win physically. And it has to do with your discipline. It has to do with you dealing with yourself. You know, I can't enter your head for you. I cannot. That's one thing I may not be able to do. I can't enter into your mental space. I can't enter into your head to help you adjust what is there. You are the one that will adjust what is in your head by yourself. After what we said, I learned to manage my time, to arrange my task according to scale of preference, how urgent and how important they are. Thank you. Father Kwe said, I learned that people don't waste time. I learned that people don't waste time. They only don't know how to manage time. That's fantastic. People don't waste time. They don't just know how to use it. People don't know how to use time. Time cannot be wasted. Whether you use it or you don't use it, time is going. But you are the one that will get the reward of using it or you will regret not using it. So time management is very important and key. You guys are fantastic. Very, very fantastic. All right, thank you very much. With the way things are, it means we can go ahead today and learn. You know, we are in the month end of our business, and this is the time performance and activities are very, very important. How you end this month, the record you have, the performance you have for the month of April, this is the period you nail everything. And that's why today's trading is very critical because it coincides with month end. Do you understand? It coincides with month end, with month end. Lola said outset regression. Regression? No, we didn't talk about regression. We only talk about rejection. You know what I'm saying? So compose yourself, put yourself together. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I learned about increase in confidence, self esteem, expanded professional network, greater sense of purpose or direction as a whole. Uh -huh. As a whole. As a whole. I like that. Kevin Roberts said, I like that rejection is part of business. And until you understand that, you won't last in business. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. So let's move on for today. Today is another beautiful day. What the way out today? Today, we want to be talking about growing your wealth. How do you grow wealth? How do you grow wealth? And a case study is how I converted 70,000 Naira to millions of naira today almost every day today i spend millions and millions and millions of naira to be in us has cost me millions yeah in us is millions i bought a car two days ago is millions everything is millions but the simple truth is 11 years ago when i started this business i was broke i was just able to manage to raise 70,000 naira. And that 70,000 naira did not come together. The first amount I paid for my registration was 8,500 naira. And that 8,500 naira, it, I didn't even have all the money. It was just 5,000 naira I had. I went to borrow the remaining three, five. And after my registration, I needed to take step. And as at that time, there was no DD Africa reward system. So you just have to take step directly. You get your product and you have to convert the product to money. No other way of making money. So what does it mean? It means at the long run, I had to focus on, I had to focus on my business and I got the product. I was able to get myself two cases of training when I started my business as products in New Life. And uh, that two cases of training cost me 59,000 59, naira. So plus or minus, if you add 8,500, plus 59,000 naira. that means the total money I used to start this business is on the average of 
about 67,000 naira, about 67,510 naira. So it's not even up to 70,000 naira that I used to start this business. But the question is, how did I burn it? How did I do it? That from 70,000 naira, I was able to get to where I am today. I'm going to tell you that story. You don't understand. And you're going to understand that in as much you have started with this business, you have the money to pay for registration. You can succeed. You can succeed from where you are now. All you just need to do is to believe in yourself and go to work. Many people fail, not because they don't have the resources to succeed, but they fail because they didn't give themselves time and dedication to do what they need to succeed. You don't understand. When God gives you bakery, he knows that the bakery will produce plenty of bread for you. But one thing God will require you to do is to put the effort of making the dough, putting the flour together, turning it over, making it rise. You don't understand. Making the dough. You don't understand. Before you can get bread from that bakery. A good bakery is only a bakery. It's only a piece of building or blocks put together. So you have to make the dough. You have to cut it into slices of bread. You have to put it in the fire. So it means you have to put fire. You don't understand. So there are things God will not do for you that you have to do for yourself. Pro provide us this day our daily bread. But God has, has, has taken us beyond that level of just providing daily bread. God has taken us to a level where we can provide daily bread and we can give daily bread to a lot of people. Today, on a monthly basis, I that could not, I struggled to raise 70,000 to start business 11 years ago. Today, I pay people salary. I pay people salary in hundreds of thousands, close to millions every month. People get rewarded through me. I have a system that rewards people in millions every month, every year. That is how fantastic this opportunity has been for me. Are you excited today? Everybody, are you excited? If you're excited, say I'm excited. If you're excited, say I'm excited. See, that's why everybody, as you're coming to this system, as you're in the system, you have to stay committed and dedication to understand how you can use the system to grow your wealth. How you can use the system to grow your wealth. Today, I'm teaching people how to invest, how to grow wealth, how to make more money. It goes a long way. I was telling somebody some days ago, I said, I'm in America today. It's not because I'm hungry, but I'm in America today because I've made money, you know, and I want to solidify that money. <laughs> when you make money in Naira, the next thing to do is to solidify that money by exchanging it with global currency. That's why I'm in US today. So what does it mean? I'm in US today because of legacy, because of family. You don't understand. Because of family. That is why I'm in US today. So it means money is not my problem. I close my eyes and I open, I will have money. You don't understand. That is the system that this organization has produced for me, has produced for me. So are we good to go? Are we ready? Are we ready to learn? How do you multiply your wealth? How do you multiply your wealth? So what I did was that my 70,000 or 67,510 will have been useless for me if I had not put it in your life. So money is not useful until you put the money into something that will make it rise. A ordinary flour you have is not useful to become bread until you can put the flour together. You add some condiments like yeast. The yeast will help to produce bloating. It will make the flour rise after you make the dough. So it means ordinary flour remains an ordinary flour. That is an investment mentality. So my 70,000 or less than 70,000 will have been useless if I've not used it, if I've not put it in business and I've not put efforts to make it right. It means by now I will have finished spending the 70,000 and I'll be looking for another 70,000. So be excited that you have put money into your business. And if you have not put money into your business, go and get money and put into your business. Then add effort to it together. Just like we have learned in the last seven days, that you need to win in your head. You need to win in your head and get going. Amazingly. So I could remember when I put effort, little by little, my income began to rise. See, from the moment you join business, your activities will determine whether you succeed or fail. I have been very committed to this business ever since the one that I joined. There's no training I ever miss. I don't miss training. I'm not just connecting to training. I am involved in activities. I go for presentation. 
Somebody was telling me so, that someone today who said, I didn't join this business to do presentation. I don't have time. If you don't have time for success, success will not have time for you. You just have to create time. Stop deceiving yourself. I don't know why a lot of Nigerians are deceiving themselves. You are broke, you don't have money, and you're saying you don't have time. See, some question when are they commanding parade for you? Is poverty commanding parade for you? If poverty is commanding parade for you, why don't you tell yourself that you're not listening to that command? You don't understand. Because the simple truth is, if you are broke, you must find solution to your problem. And when you now have an opportunity that will solve your problem, please. And that is why the moment you are in business, please love what you do. When I came into this business, I was a master's degree holder, and I put away my master's. I put away everything. I put away my education. I put away everything, and I focus on this business. I focused on this business. I was ready to go all out there. I was ready to meet whoever I need to meet. I was ready to do whatever I need to do. I was ready to follow the game plan. That's another thing I want to talk about. Game plan. Game plan. The way things are done that gives results. Many of us are deviated from game plan. You have deviated from game plan. And that is why you are not succeeding anymore. You need to connect yourself back to game plan. See, in business, you are the one that will look for your leader and say, my leader, what game plan can I work with? And that is why if you are lucky to have a leader who is giving you a game plan to work with, then you better start working. See, let me tell you something. The person in America is not different from the person in Nigeria. If the person in Nigeria can work out and make money. Yes, dollar is good. But Naira, if it is well hand and you earn enough of it, you can cover up now and do a lot of things. Why jaye bule bule now? Nigeria. See, some people used to think that success is as a fact is a factor of where you are. No, success is not a factor of where you are. Success is a factor of what you do, where you are. I am here in US and I see people in US. So make money in US is not easy because as you make money in US, you are spending the money. You're spending the money. I was talking to a friend some days ago here in US who makes an average of 80,000 US dollars every year. 80,000 US dollars every year because it works like a jackal. 80,000 US dollars multiplied by 730. That's about 58 million naira. And this guy is telling me that he hardly can save 10 million naira in a year. Why? Because even America has its own expenses. As you're handing the money by working hard, you're spending the money. So what does it mean? It means the, the principle is the same everywhere. You're not going to come to America and put dollar on the floor. Some of you, you have this business, you are still looking for Jaffa, you are looking for Visa, you are looking, and that's why you're not concentrating. Anywhere you will go, you will work hard. And let me tell you, the kind of work where you go do, where you they go, even you yourself, you will know that. Ile, Ile, Ile la bosimioko. You yourself, you go know. Say Ile, only a bosimioko. Thank God for those who are in America. I pity people who are in countries where they cannot even do something meaningful. Some people are outside Nigeria and they are more broke than people in Nigeria. So if you're in Nigeria and you have the opportunity to work with New Life, that is the same company from America that many people are coming to America to work with. Take it serious. Grow your wealth with the company. That's the simple truth. I don't know if I'm making sense at all. Am I really making sense? Am I really making sense? Tell me if I'm making sense. I want to know. Tell me if I'm making yeah, sense. Yeah. On any point that you're connecting yeah. with, just type it there. If I'm making sense, type it, type it, type it, type it. Am I really making yeah, sense? Making sense Am I really making sense? It's also amazing and appalling how Nigeria walks away from opportunities that will help them become rich and successful. And they end up looking in the hand of their friends and family who are abroad. You, they give you opportunity to be successful, you walk away from it. You're not ready to grow your wealth. And at the end of the day, you are expecting that somebody somewhere will help you. You are the one who can help yourself. You are the one who can help yourself by staying committed to what will grow your wealth. So let's look further. How did I grow my wealth? Little by little. How did I grow it little by little? I used a vehicle called New Life and use a vehicle called New Life. This is the vehicle that I use. This is the vehicle that I use. This is the vehicle that I use. You see this company, it's not just a company. It's like a vehicle 
that will take you from poverty to prosperity. This company is not just a company. It's like an aeroplane that will take you from where you ought not to be to where you should be. So what I used was this company, a vehicle for wealth creation, new life, new life. So this company was the one I put my effort into. That is the company we're all in partnership with in DD Africa. So this is the company that will help you to multiply the little that you have and turn it big. Remember what the Bible says about measurement. Good measurement, press down, shake it together and run it over. As you give it into the company, so that so the company will give it back to you. If you put little effort into the company, the company will give you little result back. If you put much effort into the company, the company will give you much results back. So whatever you give to the company is what you get. As you lay your bed, so you will like it. So and if you like, you don't lay your bed. You will sleep on the bed like that. So this company is not just a company. It's a vehicle. Many of us don't really understand it. You, some people, they see themselves as working for the company. No, you're wrong. You don't know that that company is just to take you from where you are to where you should be. The company does not need you. You are the one that needs the company. So you should be excited that you have the company. Forget about the name. Forget about the product they produce. Forget about anything. The fact that they will take you from one spot to another is the reason why you should take the company very serious. Very, very serious. Many of us, we know. Our parents could not afford to take us from where we are to where we should be. We know that. So we need a giant to take us to where we should be. That's where new life comes in. So when you are with new life, let your icon just balance. Let your icon just do what? Let it balance. That is the first thing. Then number two, understand new life. New life is a health and wellness company that offers a range of nutritional products, waste management solutions, and personal care items. The New Life Marketing Plan is designed to provide its distributors with a lucrative business opportunity. You can hear that word, lucrative business opportunity, enabling them to build a sustainable income stream by selling New Life products and recruiting new distributors into the network. So you can see. So what New Life has created for us it's not just it's meant to create a creative business for you and I. So what I did was that I took advantage of the lucrative business opportunity to make money. I took advantage of the lucrative business opportunity to make money. And that is one thing every one of us listening to me needs to take advantage of. Now, in making money, when you are with New Life, you are in business for yourself, but not by yourself. New Life will do a lot of groundwork for you. You don't know how the product is produced. You don't even know how the product is shipped to Nigeria. But all you just need to do is, when you have your money, you use your money to come in, then you can just, the money will just convert to new life products and the product will even be delivered to your house. In DD Africa today, you don't even need to go to the company to go and buy it. Online delivery, they will deliver it to your house. Can you ask people who are doing business for them, for, for them to tell you the stress they go to the business? Maybe you should go and ask some people who are into supply, how they will go to China to go and buy products, how they will put it on the sea. And how they will get to the idea that they will be waiting for it. How they will be praying that God, don't let it sink. Do you know how many people have become broke because their goods sink on water? I want to order something for my house currently. And I discovered that I need to order it from China. I've been on it now for some days. I've been trying to check online. I've been trying to connect with the vendors that can get it for me all the way from China. But you don't need to go through that stress in your life. New life has done the logistic work for you. They've done the distribution for you. They've gotten it to your, they will even get it to your doorstep. 
they have the finance department that pays you that calculates your money all you will do is you just get a lot they have the staff that are running errands for you all you do is they will do the work for you you just get everything and as far as that you have the team leaders there who are also organizing the trainings as part of the new life team for you all the trainings you need you ought to go and use money to pay for you get it for free look at the trainings we've been having in the we've been having in the last seven days this training I've been giving to you for free in the last seven days. If I've been if I've been consulted to provide this training for any company, I'm going to charge them exorbitantly. But you are getting the training for free, and some of you are not even serious with it. That's why you discover some people are getting this training now. By this time of the day, you'll be begging them to open their camera. They've even slept. Why? Because what you don't pay for, you don't pay attention. So look at the registration you paid for qualifies you for all of this. Then what else are we looking for? <laughs> what else? You get trainings for free. So you're in business for yourself. You get a product delivered almost for free. You're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. We are lucky today. There was a time people were doing your life business and they would have to go to Ghana to go and buy the product and bring it to Nigeria. There was a time some people have to go to South Africa to go and buy the product and bring it to Nigeria. But today, we have it in Nigeria. All we need to do is just to keep building. Now, here are some key elements of the marketing plan that you need to understand. If you are with me, please give me a tumble. If you are with me, give me a tumble. If you are on Facebook and you are with me, show me a lot of love. Give me a lot of like and love. If you are on Facebook, give me a lot of love and like. If you are on Facebook, if you're on YouTube, give me a lot of like, like and subscription. Give me a lot of thumb up if you're on Google Meet. Facebook people, give me a lot of love. I want to see love and like. I want to see a lot of it. If you are there, uh -huh. I want to be sure that we are there together. Thank you very much. Now, here are some key elements in the marketing plan that you need to understand. Number one, take note of these things. You need to write them down. And that's why if you're on this training, don't watch me like you're watching your television. Get a pen and paper. This is training. We'll be writing something down. You must understand retail, retail sales. Because this is business and it's a legal business, there is something to retail. There's products. The only opportunity is just that in DD Africa, we have a system that gives you money. Even if you don't retail, you still make money. But because it's a legitimate business, there's a part of retail. So New Life Distributors earn commission on the sales of products. So you will sell products, there's a price you get it from the company, there's a price you can sell it to customers. So you have the liberty to earn profit on it. It is called retail profit. Otherwise, also known as retail sales. This commission bill is based on the product and the distributor's rank within the organization. Now, aside the profit you get from the products, the company also pays you sales volume commission so sales volume commission is what they pay you based on your ranking in the organization now let's move on another thing we have is personal volume somebody should be typing it on the chat box for us as we're having it personal volume pv every new life distributors are required to purchase a minimum amount of product each month to remain active so have you purchased your product for this month if you have purchased your product for this month, give me a tumble. Give me a tumble. If you have purchased your product for this month, give me a tumble. All right. In DD Africa, how do we do this? We have put everything together. From your registration, the registration comes with products, it comes with registration kit and a lot of things. I'm still going to explain it. When you take your step to deep one, the deep one automatically gives you volume. So there's an amount of product that stepping up to deep gives you. The same thing goes to deep two. And after deep one, deep two, then you can continue to order directly from your life. Aside that, in DD Africa, for you to know that we have the best system ever, the secret to the top is resource. It's only in DD Africa you do business without stress. Do you know that when you register a new partner, you will also be getting an extra 11 PV magnesium complex that is bought as your personal bill. How many of you have gotten it? If you have gotten it, give me a thumb up. You have gotten extra 11 PV. 
So imagine you recruit up to 10 people. It means you get 11 PV in 10 places. 11 PV in 10 places will automatically give you 110 PV. 110 PV without using your money to buy it, without even knowing how the product is accumulated. You got it just because you are recruiting. So by recruitment in DD Africa, it takes care of your personal volume for the month. And it also puts money into your pocket. So that's why we keep saying in DD Africa, the only thing you need to do is to focus on getting people into your business. Getting people to buy your business. Getting people, the people that buy your business, they are like your customer. Getting them to buy your business. When you get people to buy your business, then the business will continue to pay you in different ways. So distributors can only can also earn bonuses based on their monthly PV. So if you don't have monthly PV, you cannot earn bonus. If you don't have monthly PV, you cannot earn bonus from real life for that month. So that's why no matter the money you earn or you make from DD Africa, your monthly PV is still important in real life for you to get paid for that month. Based on the structure, the level of your business. So let's move on. Let's move on. Another thing that is important and sacrosanct after personal volume is what we call group volume. Group volume. How distributors can earn commission based on the sales volume generated by their downline organization. This is known as group volume. So that means when you have personal volume, and you have Mr. A, Mr. B, Mr. C in your team, and they two have personal volume, great. All of you are good to go with volume. But the personal volume of all the members of your team is called your own group volume because you are the leader of the team and the company believes that it is your team that generates it. So the performance the activities of each person in the team come together to form your group volume. What amazing. Yeah, I'm so surprised. And I'm of one. And Oh my God. Somebody didn't understand what I just said. I'm telling you, they're going to show you today. The more sales volume you generate in your downline team, the higher commission you earn by a distributor. And that is why, so as the sales leader of your team, it is your responsibility to encourage, to motivate, to work with your team to ensure that they are able to nice volume. Many people are failing in business or they fail in business because they don't understand working with their team. To me, I want to use this opportunity. A good job. Mr. All the way from Abekota. Or mute yourself. If you are there, or mute yourself quickly. Please, a very sacrosanct. I am there. able to say I am very. God bless my dear, and I'm here, sir. If Mr. Baba, can you hear me? God bless. I'm just hearing you because you were not. Here. But your voice your is camera. cracking. I think my open next your camera. Okay, open God bless your my camera. diamonds. Open your camera. Can you hear me now, sir? You see, leadership by example. I can hear you. Leadership by example. Every leader should open their camera. I want to say good job to you, Tulu. You are doing a very God great job. I saw something in your group this afternoon, and I would like to share it with everybody on this meeting to see, you know, what she's doing in our team and now she's working with our team member just this afternoon you know there was this report on their group there was this report on their group and um this is it uh if you care to see you can see there there's this report on their group as you can see there's this report on their group as you can see here is the report 
health talk presentation done today, Sunday, April 3rd, with boss Mrs. Akiwowo Aderonke at David Adeyemo Anglican Church, E4. 33,000 naira made from consultation. 16 cups of CNN moved, bam. You that you are saying the product is not selling, you can see 16 cups of CNN sold in one day. Stop justifying your laziness. If anything is not moving on your side, you are the one who is lazy. Despite the fact that in DD Africa, we have a system that gives money even without selling product, but for those who still go for presentation, they're still making a lot of money. Now look at instant amount, 109,000 Naira collected per day, instant. And out of the total sum of 350,000 Naira. So it means these people now, they've gone out today and they have made 109,000 Naira. Aside 33,000 Naira consultation. That's 140 something thousand naira that they have made today on a Sunday. How much money did you make on your own Sunday? Out of 350,000. And they still have this 350,000 to still go and collect. You don't understand. On a Sunday, when you think you, the only thing you should do on Sunday is just to go to church. Some people went to church and make money in the church. Mr. Lu, please, can you just tell us? how this presentation went and how excited your team member became you know at the end of the presentation can you just tell us god bless my diamond god if you're on this you. call can you type on the chat box say god bless my diamond say my diamond will live long god bless my trainer god bless my excellency god bless all the great leaders of dd africa and god bless everybody connected on board um in short this presentation is actually done for somebody who was not even up to a month in business and i was talking to her today i said now that you joined dg africa this is a proof that even in less than a month you already earned over five hundred thousand era already the product that was moved for this team member is a product that she got as a gift from the deep two upgraded she did when she came into business so it is one way or the other, you know, she told herself that, oh, she wants to move the product one way or the other. And I told her, of course, we can do that. Let us execute presentation. And this new person herself went to submit the proposal letter. She sealed the presentation. So in as much she has sealed the presentation, so I told myself today, as a leader, by example, as a servant leader, you know, I woke up very early because they are running to services. So I had to get there as early as 8 a.m. for English service and also for the Yoruba service by 10 um, a.m. And of course, based on the way the presentation was sealed, there was a very listening ear. Sure, there was question. It was fun. It was fantastic. Even the team members themselves saw the way the presentation was done, and they were all excited. As a matter of fact, this woman now already has started building a team, and already today, she has done already over 500 points in her business already. And she's also still planning to actually will do better this person already also has earned sponsorship reward and there is a whole lot of ways she's earning money so the truth of the matter is today everybody was excited exactly this especially the sponsor and other team members they were there that if they actually really want to make money they can many people come into our business and they said the product is the problem the product is not the problem the problem you have is that in your mind you don't like the product and i tell people if you don't like a product you can't make money off the product when I joined the business, I could remember I was broke. And the moment they gave me training, I didn't even really know what training could do. But I have been attending trainings. People have been sharing testimony as the guy was training can do. I could remember when I joined the business and they gave me my training, my product. I was excited. I did not even wait for presentation. And I began to tell people that know me. I said, hey, I got an information that can help you not to die young. I moved six cups personally, one on one. Why? Because I was actually telling people that I have an information that can actually not allow them to die young. But you come into business to think probably it is only um, your leader responsibility to make money for you. You don't even know that your leader is there to support you and make money with you. Your leader is not there to make money for you, but make money with you. And you know, you know, because she has already, you know, um, start something, you know, your Bapu will say, Motoba Shepalo be now that all of us are making money and did africa have a system for you to make money already 
So the truth of the matter is, if you are not moving product, it means you decided not to make money from the product. You just decide. I could remember, you know, one of my team members saw that report today and was like, wow, wow, my leader, you know, he, he, I'm also going to organize one. And I will invite you and I was laughing within myself and said, the Dailah, you were waiting for, you know, because I don't know, many people does not understand that when it comes to the product in business, the secret is that product in business gives you crazy money. Don't forget that the same product in business gives you PV. You don't understand. The truth of the matter is, even if this woman has not even actually you know, tried to push or anything, with the money made today, aside from the money that will still be collected, this woman would have actually even done about 250 PV or more conveniently. But because she's actually a go-getter, she told herself that, no, in short, as a matter of fact, all of her products also, she doesn't have product again. She doesn't even have any product again. So somebody that doesn't even have something to convert to money. So she's even telling herself that if it requires for her to actually get more PV done, then she will do it because she has seen the positivity, she has seen the possibility, and she has seen that, truly speaking, the business is not hard. We have the system. Work with the system. Oh, Lord Babani, everybody in the team is excited, and they can see again that whatever they actually set their mind to, they can achieve. Money is in the business. I said it already. If you are doing nothing and you expect that things will work, it's a lie. Wherever you are, if even if you're working on a job, if you are not productive, nobody pays you. You can make as many money you want to make in this business as far as you made up your mind to drive the system, to work your part and ensure that the money is made. It will not fall on your lap. And for people that are driving the system today, no doubt they are achieving results and they are making the money. God bless my diamond. Thank you very much, Mr. Lou. That was a very powerful one. Thank you for being a servant leader. And this is a message to everybody. You know, we're talking about new people. As a new person, be committed enough to explore every money-making channel. You know, when you want to see a very good very multiple ways of giving you money, it is your responsibility to make sure that as a go-getter, you explore all the possible ways. You don't miss anyone. As you are collecting money from sponsor reward, you are collecting money from deep commission. You should also be collecting money on your product movie. You should be collecting money from New York. This person they are talking about now has collected money from sponsor reward according to. She has made money from the product. At the end of the day, she has done PV. She will still earn a check from New Life. So you can see multiple ways of money coming into your business. That is what you should explore. It is your responsibility to explore that. Then, for those of you who call yourself leaders, it is your responsibility as a leader to ensure that your team members are making money in business. If you're a team member, the number one responsibility of a leader is to get the person from coming to business to making money in the business. And that's why if you're a leader, your team members are not making money. You failed, though. You failed. Because when your team members don't make money, you don't make group volume. You don't make group volume. And you see what that lady was saying, that the woman easily on her own is able to have more volume to her business because she has made money from the product. So that is one of the focus of leadership. You work with yourself, you also work with your team. You work with yourself for personal volume and for personal volume today, even DD Africa has worked for you. DD Africa has worked for you for personal volume. Just recruit, you will get volume. So recruit and concentrate on the people you recruit. That is what the system is saying you should do. If you come into business and they work with you, they show you how to sell your product. You were able to sell it. Even if the product is given to you as gifts, you sold it, you are motivated. That's why you're in business. It is your responsibility to repeat the same thing for the next person. It's your responsibility to repeat the same thing for the next person. If you refuse to repeat the same thing for your team member, I am not the one who failed. You are the one who failed. Yes. It is not DJ Africa that failed. You are the one who fails. It is not New Life that fails. You are the one who fails. And if you discover that that aspect of money making, you don't want to focus on it, then focus on the other aspects, recruitment. 
The most important thing is try and make sure that at the end of the month, everybody make money, everybody comes in, everybody step up, everybody upgrade, everybody is making more money. That is what you should focus on. I understand that it's a place of strength and weakness. Fine. But how can you be weak in all areas? You can't afford to be weak everywhere. They say recruitment, you are weak. They say product, you are weak. They say commission, you are weak. They say step up, you are weak. They say, then what are, what are you strong in? You can't fail everywhere. That's exactly what this system is saying. So this system is saying, even if you fail in one angle, you should be able to excel in another angle. And if you can excel everywhere, then that is when you become an excellent student. First class. First class. So group volume is also very important in your business. Let's move forward. Another thing very important is ranking. New life distributors are ranked based on their sales volume and the volume generated by their downline. So remember volume now. Volume is PV, personal volume, and GV, group volume. So ranking is based on volume, sales volume, and group volume. So higher rank comes with increased commission, bonuses, and other incentives. So the higher you go, the more you. And that is the duty you are doing at the bottom. Some of you have been at the bottom. So make more money in your life because I rank to the top. So rank to the top. Somebody should type it on the chat box. I will rank to the top. Type it on the top. Type it on the chat box. If you're on Facebook, type it on the comment box. If you're on YouTube, type it on the comment box. If you're on Google Meet, type it and say, I will rank to the top. I will rank to the top. Type it, type it, type it, type it, type it. I will rank to the top. Type it, keep it coming. I will rank to the top. I will rank to the top. There's nothing you are doing at the bottom. The bottom is too crowded. The bottom is too crowded for you to be noticed. So you say it, I will rank to the top. I will rank to the top. The next thing is start ranking. In as much as you have committed yourself to rank to the top, then start ranking immediately. No time to waste. There's nothing you are waiting for. So you start ranking immediately. And that is how you can rank to the top. That's how you can rank to the top. If you are with me, say I'm alive. If you are with me, say I'm enthusiastic, say I'm enthusiastic. If you are with me, type I will run to the top. I will run to the top. So you will be able to multiply your money by doing everything. And how do you run to the top? The recruitment you do, had more people more. What happened? There will be good volume in your team. And as good volume rises in your team, your ranking will be higher. So both personal volume, group volume, recruitment, they all contribute to your team. They all contribute to your ranking. So if you don't do it well, you don't need to be a guru in everything, but just make sure you are not failing in anything. So they all contribute to your ranking. They all contribute to your ranking. So ranking now, let's look at ranking in your life. Let's look at ranking in your life. Before we look at rank, another thing is bonuses. New life posts bonuses every month, like salary. So they pay every distributor. You know, just like the Bible says, it's a reward everyone. As your work is, <laughs> now God will take reward you. That is how new life is. So new life will reward you at the end of every month as your work day be. So new life offers several bonuses, including fast start bonus, infinity bonus, and leadership bonus. There are many bonuses. You know, these bonuses are designed to reward distributors who achieve certain sales and recruitment goals. Can you see? So new life puts mark, they put target on sales and recruitment. Because they believe that you should do the two for you to, to get more results. Now, in your life, the steps in your life can be seen as this. 
the steps in your life can be seen as this for people on facebook i'm trying to show you so that you don't miss out so you can see the steps in your life you can be ranked from distributor up to five diamond director and you can rank in group pv from 100 pv as a distributor up to 500,000 pv then you can make money every month up to 14 million naira minimum every month you can also get incentives up to 50,000 US dollars in your life. You say you are broke. You say you don't have money. You say you are born poor. You say you have a problem. And you look deep. And all the problem you have today, it is only money that can solve it. Please, this is the money. The next thing you need to do is to move in without holding back. One of the enemies of many people's success today is that they hold back too much. They hold back too much. And the more you hold back, the more your success is delayed. Please type it on the chat box. I will not delay my success by myself. Type it. I will not delay my success. I will not delay my success. Type it. I will not hold back. Type it now. I will not hold back. I will not hold back. If you're on Facebook, type it. If you're on YouTube, type it. If you're on Google, type it. I will not hold back. I will not delay my sources. I will not hold back. I will not delay my sources. Now, what does it mean? It means you have to move as fast as possible. The longer you stay, the more frustrating you become. You have to move to the top as quick as possible. If anybody is telling you to take it slow and steady, that person is your enemy. Because the longer you wait at any level, the more it will be difficult to rise again. So don't listen to advisors or naysayers. If you need to go and get money to push and get your volume, get it. If you need to get people to push and get your volume, get it. If you need to work with your team members to encourage them to increase in volume, work with them. If you need to motivate people to step up and upgrade their status, work with them. That is the work you need to do. And that is why the goal should be your priority. In all the trainings we have had days before now, let your priority be on the goals. How can you motivate yourself in the face of rejection? Let priority, let your goal be your priority. Let where you are going be your priority. Let the success be your priority. How can you create your belief in the business? Focus on the success and the result of the business. This is what you should focus on. This is what you should focus on. Your focus should be, how can I get $50,000 in new life? Do you know how much $50,000 is? Maybe you guys don't understand. It's like the way they call it dollar. You don't even know what it means. Let me do some calculations for you. I think I need to help you out with some basic calculations. You know, some calculations will help us to know how we plan this thing. This thing is as simple as one, two, three. It's as simple as one, two, three. I want to show you something. You know me. I will share my screen. We will calculate it together. We will calculate it together. Are we making sense at all? Now, everybody, look at this. Look at this. Let's calculate. Let's assume you get $1,000. Currently, now, a dollar is seven hundred and uh, seven hundred and. 30 or 750. So $1,000 multiplied by 730. That is 730,000 naira added to whatever your bonus is for that month. If you get $2,000, $2,000 multiplied by 730, that is 1.4 million added to whatever your bonus is for that month. If you get $3,000, $3,000 multiplied by 730. That is 2.1 million naira added to your bonus for that month. If you get $4,000, $4,000 multiplied by 730, that is 2.9 million added to your, to your, to your monthly bonuses for that month. Now, let's assume you now get $10,000. $10,000 multiplied by 730. This is 7.3 million naira incentives added to what your monthly bonus is for that month. So what if you now get $20,000? $20,000 multiplied by 730. 
That's 14.6 million naira added to what your bonus is for that month. Now, what if you now get $50,000? $50,000 multiplied by 730, that is 36.5 million naira added to your monthly bonus of over 14 million naira for that month. Mm, at this junction, I need somebody to talk to. You say you get problem, are you? You say you get problem. Please, anybody, somebody should tell me. Is there any one of us who have a problem that all this money can also? Is there anybody here? The problem you have, this money we are mentioning, it cannot solve it. But do you know that the reason why you have not been making this money is because you're lazy, you're uncoordinated, and you're not making things happen. If you decide today to stop being lazy, you decide today to start being coordinated. You start today to start making things happen. You start today to start growing. You start today to start making sure that your business has volume and PV. You will discover that in no time, you start making all of this money and it will look as if new life is favoring you. Luck is where you are doing the right thing and you are committed to it. That's when luck comes in. That's when luck comes in. Now let's look for that, everybody. Let's look for that. At this juncture, are there people who have earned this money? Let's look at it. I want to look at my archive and I brought something for you. This is my bonus check in November 2012. If you can look at it very well. People on Facebook, let me see if I can show you. People on YouTube, you can see it clearly, but let me see if I can show you. This is my bonus check, November 2012. How much was this? This is 98,000 Naira. Don't forget, I came into the business in January 2012. So as of November 2012, I was already earning 98,000 Naira after task, after tax. Now let's move further. As at May 2014, so from 2012 to 2014 now, so that November 2012, I joined in January 2012. November 2012 is my 10 months in business or 11 months in business. So I was already earning over 98,000. Then as at May 2014, May 2014 was, was my one year and four months in business. One year and four months in business. Look at this. I was already earning 430,000. This is Akisulola Joyola Dili. You can see. So it means I've been handing over 430,000 naira. That is almost 500,000 naira since 2014. No big today. Why? Because I came, I walk, I was excited, I believed, I was motivated, I was coordinated. Everything we have been learning was what I've been doing. Hence, the reason for the results. So the result is not just coming because I sat back. No. The result came because I worked hard. See, even if you have the old world giving you something, why don't you just believe in yourself and go all out there and go and see what your effort can bring for you? Then let's move further. Talking about incentives. I had to go and download this picture from the internet. You know, I had to expand it. But if you can still see, this is an incentive given to me. This is an incentive of $35,000. $35,000. $35,000. I got this $35,000 as at 20, I think 2016. $35,000. Make a calculation. You know me now. I will show you the way he's talking. Thirty-five thousand dollars. Thirty-five thousand dollar today. Today, as at the time I got this offer of thirty-five thousand dollar, the dollar was one hundred and sixty naira. One hundred and sixty naira. Then, then one hundred and sixty naira. I wish I got this now. Now, so imagine if you get your own thirty-five thousand dollar. Imagine if you get it now. I will leave it. Imagine if you get your own now. How will it be? I'm trying to calculate for you. $35,000 at, as at that time, when the dollar was 160 naira, 
was 5.6 million naira. Extra incentives for me. That's a business I started with 70,000. Well, like, oh, 70,000 gone. Oh, one gone. Some of you went to borrow money to start business, and because you borrow money to start business, that is why you are not serious with the business. When you want to talk, you say, I'm looking for the money I borrow. Is it not from the business you will get the money you borrow back? So imagine this $35,000 now. Imagine you get it now. When a dollar is 730, how much is this? This is 25 million naira. Imagine you get $35,000 now. That is 35 million naira. So everybody tell me, what are you looking for? What are you looking for? I am here talking to you. Everything you are looking for every year is already in the business that you are doing. Some of you, the business that is not making you serious with this business, if they calculate all the business together, all your profits on that business in one year, up to one million. Some of you, the job you are doing that is not making you take your business serious, your pahanum on that job, for some people, is not up to one million. Why do Nigerians like to labor hard where they should be getting results? Why do Nigerians like to struggle where they should be getting results? Why do Nigerians like to be lamenting where they should be rejoicing? And that's why if you're in business today, you should be excited with yourself and you should rejoice for what God has done. You see this opportunity God gives you, He doesn't give it to plenty of people in the life. God does not give it to plenty of people in life. He gives it to a few people. And that is why today, because of new life, I didn't come to America as a poor person. I came to America as somebody who has money to spend. That's why I'm in America and I'm spending money. I've been in America for three months now. I've not done a single pay job in America and I've been spending money. How many Nigerians can come to America in three months and be spending, converting Naira to dollar and be spending? That is what this opportunity has done for me. And that is the same thing this opportunity can do for you. If only you can just sit and be committed to what you are doing. Another beautiful thing you get in this business is training and support, which you are getting. You know, like provides training and support to its distributors through online resources, conferences, other events. The company also offers a mentorship program to help new distributor get started. That's exactly what we are doing. That's exactly what we are doing. To become a new life distributor, to start building wealth with new life, for you to make money from new life, you need to become a new life member. That's the first thing. So for you to build wealth with new life, you must first become a member. You can sign up on the website or through, the new, or through a new life distributor. You have signed up through DD Africa. That is why you become a member. That's why your registration covers your business registration with new life. It covers a lot of things. Then number two, purchase new life products. New life product has come with your registration already. As a member, you have access to a wide range of new life products. You can purchase at a discounted rate. This product includes nutrition, weight management product, personal care. By using and promoting this product, you earn commission and bonuses. The next thing is build a team. New Life offers a multi level compensation plan. Multi level. New Life will pay you on first level, second level, third level. New Life will pay you on leadership development bonus from first level, second level, third level. New Life will pay you on network development bonus on every level. One business you get paid tomorrow for the work you don't know. I have team members in Syria alone. I've not seen them before. They have not seen me before. At the end of the month, no life pays me for the business in Syria alone. Now me go Syria alone. Answer me now. But the power of people is when you touch somebody's life and you train the person to be excited, that person can go ahead and touch another person's life and you will not know how far it has trained. So build a team. One of the ways to fast track your success is to build a team. 
You build a team to fast track your success. Then another thing is focus on sales volume. So when you build a team, you focus on believe everybody can hear me one of my devices has chipped off that's fantastic if you can hear me give me a thumb up so what does it mean it means when you build a team one of the things you need to focus on is volume you need to focus on volume for your team you focus on volume you focus on volume you make sure that each team member has volume never ever look at any of your team members without volume and be happy that's why you need to give them trainings about their volume. Let them know the importance of their volume. It is their volume that get them going. For you to hand and get bonuses, you need to focus on increasing your sales volume. And when you are focusing on volume, you have to make sure it is increasing. What you achieved this month in terms of volume must be more than what your volume is last month. What your volume will be next month must be more than what your volume is this month. Don't ever go down in your volume and don't remain stagnant in your volume. Your volume should be increasing. Even if it is lead to, even if last month you achieved 1,000 group points, this month make sure you achieve 1,010 group points. You see that 10 point increase is something. Don't ever allow yourself to do the same volume over and over again. Don't allow it. It means stagnancy. And don't allow yourself to do less than what you did last month. That's why if you see anybody that succeed, they succeed because they focus on these little, little things. So as the month is ending, you need to focus on your volume. Focus on your volume in such a way that it gives you tremendous results. Another thing is meet up with qualifications. When there's qualification for something, you know, for achievement, for step up, meet up. Your qualification for director is 4,000 points. Don't do 39. Qualification for executive manager is 2,000 points. Don't do 17. Qualification for senior manager is 1,000 points. Don't leave your point at 850. If your point is already on 850, you need to round it up to 1,000. That is how to meet up qualification. You see, this thing I'm reading for you. I downloaded it, I downloaded this material from the internet. It's not me that type it out. So if they are not important, the internet will not be there to give you this, this, this criteria. And that is what a lot of people miss out. Some people are committed, some people are committed to trainings, some people are excited, but they don't meet qualifications. Never let your business be on 3-6 and leave it alone. Meet qualification, round it up. No life has certain qualification that you need to meet in order to earn bonuses and other incentives. This qualification may include maintaining a certain sales volume, recruiting a certain number of team members, or achieving certain ranks with the company. Currently now, some of you have recruited two people. Make sure you recruit one more person to make it three so that you can get three in 30 from new life. That's why in the Africa, we are focusing on 10. We believe that if you pursue the goal of 10, you will beat every record in new life. That's why we are pursuing 10. Some of you are on two. I know at least two or three of you people that have two, two people now. Make sure that between today and tomorrow, you register one more person and you meet up the qualification of three in 30 in new life. You see, all these little, little things you qualify for, they go a long way. They help your business growth. So meet up qualification. There's going to be senior manager school coming up next week. And you need to qualify as this month is ending. Meet top qualification. This special program for senior managers, executive managers, and directors that qualify is something you must qualify for. Don't miss it. So meet up qualification in all that you do in order you do another thing that is important is attend trainings and events you can see every training we do this thing keep coming up every training we do this thing keep coming up attend training and event attend training and event because that is the only way you can rise to the top you can't miss trainings and expect yourself to rain like so whoever wants to rain must be committed to training 
New Life offers training and events to help you learn more about the product and compensation plan. By attending this event and learning from successful distributors, you can improve your sales skills and build a stronger team. So attend trainings and events. Attend trainings and events. Very, very important. Another thing that's important here is stay motivated, no matter the matter. No matter the matter. No matter the matter. Stay motivated. Stay motivated. No matter what you are going through, no matter what you are facing, no matter the setback you are having, no matter the rejection you are facing, no matter what you think is happening to you, you must stay motivated at all time. And that's why you have to wake up in the morning and look at yourself in the mirror and say, Hi, I am motivated today. I stay motivated. Nothing will drain me. Nothing will make me unexcited. Nothing will make me not motivated. Building wealth with new life takes time and effort. It's important to stay motivated and focus on your goals. Set realistic targets. Track your progress. I love this. Set realistic targets. Track your progress and celebrate your achievement along the way. That's why for those of you who are able to significantly achieve tremendous results this month, celebrate your results. So far, so good today. Track your progress. Look at how far you have gone. What do you need to do next? You have done registration. Upgrade to deep. You have done deep one. Upgrade to deep two. You have done deep. You know, by now, you should be calculating how you take step to director. Track your progress. Track your progress. In summary, building wealth with new life requires a combination of your products, building a team, and meeting qualifications. You can see combination of the products, building a team and meeting qualifications. So meeting qualification is part of the things. So you can sell products, you can build a team, but if you do all of this and you don't meet qualification, it's still a waste of time. So recruiting people is not enough, selling products is not enough. You must do all of these things to meet up qualifications. That's why you discover somebody who does not sell products but can meet up qualification will get the results. Somebody who has not recruited but can meet up qualification will get the results. So by following these steps and stay motivated, you can earn commission, bonuses, and other incentives to build a successful and profitable new life business. Another thing is leverage on online marketing. Find a way to automate your business. If you have a way to connect to a website, to connect to internet that will help you market your product, find a way to market it. I want to recommend a website for you that you can use to upload your product, seller.co. Go and upload your product on seller.co. Open an account on it. Put your product there. People can buy product from you anywhere in the world. If you don't know how to use it, connect to me and I'll put you through. Now you can use seller.co. There are a lot of online platforms you can take advantage of. People are putting product on Alibaba Express. People have their product on Amazon. People have their product on Jumia. People have their product on Conga. Put your product somewhere. Leverage on online marketing leverage on online marketing another thing is provide excellent customer service where you put your number and your for your product somewhere and somebody call you behave well don't do a business where somebody see your number online and the person call you and the next thing is hello 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 what are you even saying kill on survive kill on survive no be professional in what you are doing if where you are you cannot really comprehend what the person is saying tell the person hello i'm in a noisy place i'll call you back as quick as possible you don't understand be professional be professional don't say she be the person is supposed to understand no be professional in everything you do another thing is stay up the dates on new life product and promotions that's why you must understand the business you must stay up to date you must do your daily tasks you must be checking your network you must be checking your 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 new life account every day to know what is the latest information what is the latest update you must be talking to your leaders for them to upgrade you on the latest update in town new life regularly introduces new products and promotion to keep their product line fresh and attract new customers. It's important to stay up to date on these changes and promotions so you can offer your customers the latest and greatest products and take advantage of any special deals or discounts. Another thing is set financial goals. Set financial goals for yourself. Tell yourself how much money you want to make before the end of this year. How much money do you even want to make? 
when you remove all your billings, all your expenses, how much money do you want to save? I discover a lot of Nigerians don't do this. We don't set financial goals on how much we want to make, how much we want to save. You can't save all the money you make, definitely. You're going to have expenses. You're going to have bills. You're going to do a lot of things. But if you really want to stay excited, you want to stay motivated, you want to focus on results, and you want to get results, you must set financial goals. To build wealth within your life, it is important to set financial goals and track your progress. Determine how much you want to earn each month or year. Don't just enter the month. January is gone. You didn't determine what to earn. February, March, April, and you align this month to go. No, that is how to stay poor. If you want to be rich, you need to determine how much you want to earn. And tell yourself, this month, April, I want to earn so, so a month, and I must get it. This is the factors in business that can make me get it. You know, you tell yourself, I want to earn 150000 Okay, I must be a director to do that. You determine, you set financial goals, then you now work your business to achieve that goal. I want to earn $1,000, then you go for that thing that will give you $1,000. That's how to do it. So you set a goal for each month and year, then you create a plan to achieve those goals. See, you can't just go, keep walking through life unplanned. It makes people poor and broke. Many people are broke today because they just live life unplanned. Everything about them is unplanned. They go to school they did not plan for. They study a course they did not plan for. They marry a wife they did not plan for. They impregnate a woman they did not plan for. They carry a child they did not plan for. Hey, guys, if you are living this kind of life, while well, lights are light, poverty is knocking at your door so quickly. Your life needs to be organized. You must have goals. If you look at people who do things they don't plan for all the time, ah, you've given back to six children before, another, the seventh child came unplanned for. Killed it. And when it comes, he says, why you not why you not Because my man, all my job, my wallet When you are paying school fees, you will not know. You will know that the wallet on. When you pay school fees, you pay school fees. You will know that life requires planning. Life requires planning. So in the recess, plan your finances. Plan your life. That is why you need new life as a vehicle. So for you to achieve this, it may need you to increase your sales volume. Recruit more team members. Focus on certain product line and customer demography. Don't just say things are not working. No. If you go to an area for presentation, they didn't allow you to focus on another area. You do presentation in companies and they say they are on break, the economy is somewhere, they don't even have the time now, they are doing reshoveling, go to church. Church, no, they do reshovel. Church, no, they do reshovel. In fact, sometimes what people hear in church is like God said. Go to mosque, go to a salary program, go to every gathering. And make sure you're talking to people. And lastly, stay committed. Building a successful new life business takes time, effort, and commitment. It's important to stay committed to your goals and put in the work required to achieve them. Celebrate your success along the way, but also be willing to learn from your mistakes. Can you hear this now? Celebrate your success along the way, but also be willing to learn from your mistakes. Be willing to learn from your mistakes and make adjustment as needed don't make mistake and say hey, hey, i've made a mistake it means the business cannot work for me no we learn from our mistakes so when you make mistakes things did not work the way you want maybe because of some wrong decisions you made don't feel bad even if you feel bad move on but learn from it and make adjustments where needed with persistence and determination you can build a successful and profitable new life business and achieve your financial goals. And with this, we come to the end of this training on how to build wealth with your new life business. How to build wealth with your new life business. Using new life as a vehicle for wealth creation. Using new life as a vehicle for wealth creation. At this junction, have you learned something? Growing your wealth with new life. At this junction, have you learned something? Have you learned something? Have you learned something? People on Facebook, did you learn something? People on Google Meet, YouTube, did you learn something? If you have learned something, give me a thumb up. 
today has been very deep and fantastic. Now you now know how you can convert your 100,000 to millions of naira. Now you now know how you can convert, how I converted my 70,000 to millions of naira. This month in Mina, now you know how you can convert your 95,000 to millions of naira. Are you ready? Are you ready, everybody? Are you ready? Ms. Morofolu said too much, Baba. Okay, so tell us what you learned, everybody. Share on the chat box, share on the screen what you have learned today. Share with everybody what you have learned. Share, 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 share. Type on the chat box. Facebook people, type on the chat box. Tell us what you have learned. 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 You have learned. We need to keep learning, you know, and we need to keep doing. You don't understand. And thank God what you have learned today, you know, comes at the tail end of the month. So let's share on the chat box what we have learned. Let's share on the chat box what we have learned. Tell us something unique that you have learned today. Something unique that you have learned today. Or if possible, make a commitment. Tell us how committed you want to make your business. Make a resolution on your comments. I will do my business better from now. I will make sure I focus on my volume. I will focus on meeting the expectation. Whatever resolution you have made, type it on the chat box. Type it now. If you're on Facebook, type it on the comment box. If you're on YouTube, type it on the comment box. All right, type it, type it, type it, type it. Keep it coming now. Keep it coming, 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 keep it coming. Keep it coming. Amos Desmond said, I learned to build a team and also focus on sales volume. That's fantastic. Building a team and focusing on sales volume. You know, all of us, we need to use new life as a vehicle to achieve our goals. You know, imagine I have a US visa and I don't have money to come to US. My Maya will kill God forbid. But new life became a vehicle. You don't understand. I come to US every year. I fly exotic airline to the US, you know, without stressing myself. Oh, new life, I know. New life, oh, new life. New life is our maga, as we do so. New life is our maga, and they are going to pay, and they are going to pay and pay and pay. And can you say that to yourself? Can you just tell yourself that? You know, it takes you to build a successful business for you to be, for new life to be your maga, for new life to be your maga. So type on the chat box. Keep typing on the chat box, you know, what you want to learn. Somebody is just joining meeting. By this time of the day where we are done, you know, this is not good. This is not good. It's not a good sign. <laughs> it's not a good sign. A lot has been done today. On Facebook, Ayomide said, I must have steady mindset on the goals I want to achieve in my business henceforth, monthly and yearly. That's the truth, monthly and yearly. Angela Daniel said, I will stay committed and focus on my goal. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. Uchechi said, I learned that I need to meet up with qualifications. Okay, let's take that again. Let's take that again. She said, I learned that I need to meet up with qualifications and build a team, not just building a team, but subjecting them to training and events. Abike said, thank you for this opportunity. My resolution is never to do the same or less personal volume Henceforth, it's not just about personal volume, group volume. Your total volume is a combination of your personal volume and your group volume. So you have to focus on that. You know, sometimes you can do your personal volume very well, but if you're not working with your team, your group volume will be affected and it affects your total volume. And at the same time, sometimes you can be working on with your team very well and your personal volume may be affected and it will still be affecting your total volume. So you have to balance the two. It goes a long way for your group, for your total volume to be balanced. Victor said, success is the factor of the things you do. Success is the factor of the things you do. I learned to meet up qualification. That's the truth. She said, I learned to meet up qualification. I learned to meet up qualification. You have to meet up. Activities without meeting up qualification is like a waste of time. Yeah, that's the truth. You are just doing activity, activity, producing nothing. No, let qualification be your guide. I, I, I. Let yes, qualification yes. be your guide. When qualification is your guide, it will be easy for you to bring out something meaningful out of whatever you are doing. So it will not just be activity upon activity producing nothing. You don't understand. Kevin Robert said, the millions you are looking for out there, 
in a day job is in the business you are neglecting today that's the truth the millions you are looking for out there is in the business you are avoiding it's in the business you are avoiding so stop avoiding what will make you stop avoiding what god has designed for you you don't understand you didn't see this opportunity by fluke it's not by chance so stop avoiding what god has designed to make your life easy and simple stop avoiding on facebook we have abdul salam adebayo i said i learn more on productivity he said i learn more on productivity productivity is very important Adewumi Azan said, always keep building teams and be focused on the goal monthly. Chitra Abedin said, I learned that for every mistake I made in business, it shows another room for improvement. God bless you. God bless you. That's the truth. That's the truth. Every mistake is a room for improvement. The most desperate said, I also learned to see what it means to meet qualification and stay motivated. So, Amon, go ahead. Go and meet your qualification for this month. Very important. It will be your Lushego said, I will ensure I build a formidable team member. Yeah, formidable team that is exceptionally active. That is the business. People that are active is what makes business. Not people that just register and after registration, that's the end. No, people that come in, they register and they stay to work business. You know, when you have people like that in your business, your business will go grow like wildfire, like wildfire. Kevin Robert said, you need cash flow, connect to new life. Allah Demiji said, I learned many to build my business and invest. That's fantastic. Then Faith Adifu always said, God bless my diamond. Thank you so much, sir, for this educating and inspiring training. I learned that one of the way to fast track your success is to build a team, is to build a team. You will fast track it like mad. Bukola Murumfolu said, I need to build a team ready for personal and group commitment and qualification you're getting it that's the truth victoria for we said okay i want to take for victoria she said i learned not to delay my sources sources is a factor of what i do it's obvious that we have really learned a lot today and i feel so glad i feel so excited i want to congratulate those of us who have been part of this meeting since last week sunday back to back you are the true most valuable player you are the true mvp you don't understand. You are the true greatest of all time, but I don't want to call you good. You don't understand. You are fantastic. I know some of you have been very dedicated and committed. Now we need to focus on our mountain. We need to focus on our mountain now. You know, mountain activity is mountain already as of today, but the company gives a grace of tomorrow, Monday, and Tuesday to finish every business activity. So that by Wednesday, all activity ends down by Wednesday and by thursday new month starts and on friday we are celebrating those who have gotten the results at senior manager school so senior manager school is on friday every team leader must make sure that your team members you know are in senior manager school i'm going to be having a short meeting after this meeting now with all team leaders if you know you're a unit leader you're a team leader you're a leader in dd africa wait behind for an all important meeting you know this one does not include facebook people Facebook people, thank you for coming. It's fantastic having you. It's fantastic having them on Facebook. Facebook people are fantastic people. So we love them. We love them. We love them. Let them continue to do what they are doing. Let them continue to do what they are doing and continue to get going and continue to get going, you know, on Facebook. But for those of us who are on YouTube, YouTube, thank you so much. It has been a fantastic meeting too, as well on YouTube. It has been a fantastic meeting on YouTube. So as a result, we are coming to the end of the broadcast on YouTube. Then on Google Meet, you know, this is we we on Google Meet. So on Google Meet, we have 